The Broadway Antique Market is Chicago's oldest and largest antique store, providing the community with the best in vintage furnishings, art, fashion, and jewelry. And joining us now with more is co-owner Dwayne Scott Cerny. Thanks for coming in, Dwayne. Thanks for having me. You know, with everything, there's always a story mm -hmm. behind it. And I imagine with you having done this for so long, you have a lot of stories to tell, which is why you put together a book. And uh, now, follow it up with a second a book. A second book. <laughs> and that's what I love about this, is that the stories behind the objects and and even better the people behind the okay. objects. Yes. All right. um, and I always say uh, Everyone collects something, right? And uh, you know, got, you know, guys, guys, guys collect uh, watches, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, tie clips, and women in their shoes, or oh, you know, yeah, women go on and on, right? But so, what uh, over the years, um, kind of assembled these stories. So I thought this was kind of representative of some of, of some of these things. Okay. Um, so there was a, a story uh, called the Garbage Can Kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was basically a father that gave his son every game imaginable. Oh. Okay. Right. And to be, as, an, as an example, this is from uh, 1976, which is which is kind of rare. And it's the sinking of the Titanic game, game. which is oh my gosh. admittedly a little dark yes. <laughs> in the morning. But the object was to set, to uh, get supplies and to save others. Oh. So, and then with every roll of the dice, the ship tilts down. Tilts oh down. My gosh. Tilts down. Oh, um, man. Uh, but. There was a story of why, okay. of why that father was giving him the, his son and uh, these these games, um, and I, I, I very much love uh, to write in an O. Henry type style. Yeah. So you don't find out <laughs> till the end till the of each end. Of, of each story. Oh, okay. Um, so and uh, uh, selling dead people's things was that, and yep. I was able to tell uh, stories um, uh, about um, oh my gosh the. Uh, uh, a man who was an incubator baby at the Century of Progress. I that, yeah. um, yes. Um, and uh, a, a woman who was, uh, 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 was the um, uh, grandchild from uh, the, uh, the theater fire. From oh, uh, the Iroquois, uh, the Iroquois yeah. theater fire, yeah. Yeah. Um, who actually had a program from the fire, oh, wow. and her her grandparents left it at her mission. Wow! So that just didn't exist. Now right. I wasn't able to buy the item, but I came away with a story that even story. when I read it aloud to myself, so I cry. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you have a story. Each chapter in the new book is another story by another right, right. item. So what's the second chapter? So uh, another story would be uh, Tales of the Monkey Girl. Okay. So here we see a luster wear uh, Art Deco uh, monkey. And this is actually from a friend of mine uh, that I had the, was blessed to actually process her estate. Okay. And she had over a thousand monkeys. Yep. Is that an ashtray? It's an ashtray, okay. right. But I've met people that have 500 owls right. and 300 flamingos, and you could just go on and on. I had a customer who had a collection of six-inch advertising rulers, and he had hundreds of them. Okay. And you know, and I find that fascinating because it's just, it just, it reflects nothing. Nothing that comes into your life is is a coincidence, mm -hmm. okay. and it reflects who you are, the gifts that you are given, the things that you buy. Um, the uh, Third, which is a kind of the star of the moment, is uh, the a Raymond Hood hat. Now, Raymond Hood was one of those, the famous uh, haberdasher to come out of Chicago. Oh, okay. and um, this is a hat. And that's the hat. Okay. Um, I was fortunate enough to help him design a hat. He wanted he wanted to do an Eiffel Tower hat, okay. but uh, they had to be old Eiffel Towers, and they couldn't be metal because they would be too heavy. Too he oh, yeah. So um, I scoured for about a year finding him all these uh, Eiffel Towers. Uh, that is probably in a museum right now. Oh, really? I don't have that hat. Okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, Mar Martha Torno of Modern Times, wonderful friend of mine and a dealer, uh, she was able to locate this hat for, for today. Um, uh, he had a uh, went to the Art, school of the Art Institute. Uh, as a young man, he had a, he had opened up a shop on o on Oak Street, okay. mm -hmm. Raymond Hutt, um, and was to the stars. So Barbara Eden, Joan Crawford, Phyllis Ooh. Diller had over five hundred of his hats. Who wore this you one? That one. That that was just to, sold one, to okay. the public. He'd made in excess of five thousand hats. Wow. So wow. Um, and I would welcome you to try it on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Each each hat that uh, went to the oh, stars was cool. uh, was uh, uh, signed and way. numbered. In other words, Joan Crawford had her own hats. Her, oh, na her name go. would be put it more to the on there. There you go. There you go. Just, oh, beautiful. Uh, That's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. With your red hair. Oh, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Oh, gorgeous. Wow. Thank his, you. his pieces are now in museums. Ooh. Oh. Um, okay. uh, and so when I when I helped him uh, do the Eiffel Tower hat, he gave me that little. That little note. <laughs> I'm going. That was great. Thanks. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, he passed in in 2016, but he's 
one of the most significant people uh, in design to come out of Chicago. That's really um, cool. Okay, so you started the market in 1998? Yeah, we, yeah, we've been in Edgewater 25 years. Yeah. yeah, man, that is great. So you've seen all kinds of things. Market's still going on? Market's still going on. Uh, open Thursdays through Sundays, 11 to 6. Okay. So fun to go in and look at all of this. And, oh, and yeah. And he's got such great stories with all the pieces that yeah. come in. Yeah. yeah. Every, 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 not every piece has a story, but when it has a story, it's a good one. It's a good one. All okay. right, Dwayne, thank you so much. 6130 North Broadway is the Broadway Antique Market. Uh, BAMChicago.com and VintageConfidential.com is where you can get more information on the second book.